It's move-in day, which kind of begs the question as to whether two people can fit all of their stuff and full-time in a truck camper this size. That's a question I've been asking myself on the drive down here to pick up all of our stuff. So today is the day where we move all of our stuff in there, see if we have enough storage for everything and see if we can make this work. So well, I- Hold on, were you just hiding behind me the whole time? <laughs> Magic. I'll let, I'll let you show everyone the exterior storage. Okay. And then I will show you all the interior storage. All right, that works. Let's do this. So the truck is a 2000 Ford F350 4x4 with the crew cab. The reason we went with the crew cab there is a ton of room back here, a lot of storage. We're still trying to figure out what to do with this space. We may remove the seats or leave them in there. But for now, this seat does not flip up, but there is a lot of room. This does flip down. So we have some storage behind the seat. Now for the flatbed, we went with the Norweld Weekender Deluxe with boxes. All of the boxes are lockable. They have rubber seals all the way around to keep the elements out. There's a nice bit of room in here. One in the rear. I like that that kind of flips down. I may put something to kind of use it as a tray. We'll see. There's more room in this one than that front box. One of my favorite features of the Norweld. This huge pull-out drawer. This thing is awesome for longer items. It's got this super duty rubber mat in here so things don't bounce around. We're using this right now. We've got our Overland Solar Bug Out 120 solar panel along with a stirrup step. This step is cool because you can put it in the side of the flatbed and use it to step up into the camper rather than deploying the stairs. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot of use for this thing. The other nice thing is on all of these, they are lockable, but there is a double lock. So little tabs that pull out and you can put in a padlock or something like that for extra security. On the camper itself, we had this rack mounted. This got bolted into the place where they mount the jacks for these things if you want to take it off the flatbed. We're not planning on doing that. So we had this mounted instead. And what a lot of people use this for is to mount things like additional fuel and water tanks, uh, bags. We could even possibly mount a spare or just a tire up here to kind of keep it out of the way. So a lot of possibilities with this that we'll have to explore. But let's go check out the driver's side. This storage box is the same as the one on the opposite side. This one, however, is a bit smaller. The reason for that is this area back here is empty to accommodate the fuel fill. There is a little lip and a bracket in there, so I might be able to fab up a box or something if I need a little bit of extra storage. I really don't think we will. There is a lot of storage on this tray. All right, I'll let Kate show you the inside. Come on in. All righty. Watch your head. Thank you. Don't bump yourself. Welcome to our humble abode. There is so much storage in here. Are you ready? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I know there's storage in here. I'm a little worried that we're going to be able to fit all our stuff. Um. I'm not worried. Plus, if it doesn't fit, it just has to get donated. Uh, see what I have to live with? So under the bench seat or in the dinette, there is a ton of storage. And we've got our inverter, inverter down there. Yeah, there is a lot of room down here. So this it's big open area. And there's actually storage behind the seat. Yes. And so it's the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then I'll switch over. Got to switch now. We'll rotate. Okay. There we go. Over here. Yes. 
So this is where they normally install a cassette toilet, but we just asked them to make the box so we can install our own toilet, which Joe will take care of later. <laughs> But it's on my list of things to do. We've got all this storage area with a little curtain. Oh, and this snaps into place. It's pretty awesome. Perfect. This is the storage for all of our lithium batteries. Okay, so okay. the water tank is down here. Um, I don't think we have any storage. No. Yeah. So that that is the Red Arc system that manages all of the power in here. Yeah. So, and then there's a ton of storage in here kind of see in there a lot of room and access so the water pump right there access to a bunch of the pipes and everything let me put our cushion back i love our cushions i love yes and then we've got a drawer here and then and by the way hmm? show them how the drawer kind of locks in place oh yeah there's a little latch here so you have to pull up to pull it out and then doesn't rattle free. Perfect. We've got a ton of storage in here. This is where our owner's manual is. And that is very deep. Shower curtain and then a storage bag, but very deep. Yes. I think we'll need to mount some kind of a push light or like a LED strip light in there. I agree. All things to figure out gotta read our user manual Rich. okay so we went with the 85 liter because oh, I've already stocked it with beer for Joe <laughs> because at the bottom we get an extra storage we found that fits our cast iron perfectly but that's not all my favorite storage solution in this whole camper I mean, holy cow. I could go all the way in here. Yeah. I mean, there's a ton of storage. I think we'll have to figure out maybe some L brackets. A little piece little, of wood. Yeah, a little plywood or something to section this off so things don't shift around too much. I almost feel like we're going to need something if something gets stuck all the way in the back. Yes actually grab it and pull it well that's why we have our fiamma awning hook oh i can perfect. just pull this out and look at that uh, solutions hook it well even with that doesn't reach all the way back there well <laughs> it'll do that's a lot of storage but my favorite thing is the struts what are these called struts? they're struts they're really good because I barely have to lift it. Well, we asked them to install heavier struts on this than what comes in with the standard model. Yes. Because we like to put a mattress topper, which is heavy, and we need something more stout to keep it up. Yeah. All right, so that's all of our storage. That is all the storage inside and outside. Now, I think we need to put the cameras down and actually start moving in so we can get on the road. Okay. So let's move everything in and then we can do a quick recap of what we put, where, where? And all of that good stuff. More spacious than the other one. I told you. That bed looks very cozy. I wouldn't mind when your father and I were younger being up in there. Uh, this is more spacious. Oh this, yeah, it's this, wider. This this. So all this is storage. Yeah. Underneath. Okay. Under the seats. That's all storage. Okay. What about under there? That's our water tank and things. Okay, where's your toilet? Right in here. And your shower comes down from there? Comes down from there. So that's the drain. Huh? And the shower hangs up here, the curtain. And does this get all wet? No, the curtain comes down in between. And there's the fridge. What's that over there? The sink, the stove. Where's your washer and dryer? No washer and dryer. 
Oh, that, no, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Wonderman, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That was hilarious. I think my favorite question of that whole thing with my mother and aunt was my mom asking, where's your washer and dryer? I think it's time for the first cup of coffee in our new camper. Turn the inverter on. To answer the question I posed at the beginning of this video, which is, can two people live and store all of their stuff in a camper this size? The answer in terms of storage is yes. We will figure out the living situation as we go. That said, one problem I think we're both having with the storage in here is that there's actually a lot more than we're expecting, but we're still trying to figure out the spaces because like underneath each of the dinette cushions is a big storage area and trying to figure out how we layer things in there and stuff like that. What do we put in the boxes down below on the tray? So we've just been rushing to jam everything in here. Once we've had a little bit of time to live out of it, We'll show you where we've put things, how we're using it, uh, once we've figured it out ourselves. I'm really excited about our new home. Me too. Especially the fact that I have electricity to run all of my coffee appliances. Well, your electric coffee appliances. <laughs> yes. I could go other routes, but... Like a hand grinder or a propane stove kettle. I've done the hand grinder. It's fun the first couple times after you've done it twice a day, every day, all year long. You long for one of these. That smells so good. Mm. This is the Blue Bottle Bella Donovan. It's a bit of a darker roast, but it's delicious. We're gonna need to get new stickers printed. Stickers, t-shirts. I think the only thing I might leave old school is my hat. The patch? Mm-hmm. Just become a part of me. Plus, I think there's so much sweat from the hat, it's kind of like melted on there. <laughs> we can get you a new patch, honey. All right. Let me have my coffee and then we can get back to packing everything up and hit the road. I'm really excited to get back out there. Me too. This is going to be fun. Completely new adventures. And that's it. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com and make sure to sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you next time. Bye.